Hey you guys, this is Snowy88 and today I'm going to explain to you how you can make a flag compilation of a existing album CD. So in order to do so you need some items. So first of all uh, you take the CD and it's not easy while holding the camera. All right, you take the CD and you put it in your drive. All right, that's the first step. Okay. All right. I will switch now to recording the screen with my bandy cam so you will exactly see what uh, what is following next. Right? Okay, here we go. So after you entered your CD, you need a few programs. Uh, you need a program called Exact Audio Copy. You need a program called Fubar 2000. And you also need the flag encoder itself. Now I don't have an icon of it, but uh, you can still download it in the link. So first of all, you can uh, you have to install the flag encoder of course otherwise this won't work and then you can use these programs so you can find these uh, all these files by the way exact audio copy foobar 2000 on this website it's uh, well it's my personal uh, website uh, where i put uh, programs i um, use uh, very often and well it's called mindzoi.com take care it's Dutch so you can just type this and you will find this flag file here you can just save the file and install it it just regularly install it and then you have the codec working you can also find the exact audio copy right here it does the same and the same goes for foobar so this um, this link will also be in the description so after you've done that, after you've done that, you open exact audio copy. Now, exact audio copy is exactly what it says. It is a uh, program which makes an exact or, uh, copy of your audio uh, album. So currently, it is listing the tracks as track 1, track 2, track 3, etc. If you click on database and you click on get CD information from remote metadata provider like this and it will show up in this case two versions. Now in order to make the right decision whether you choose this one or this one you have to um, take a very good look at your CD cover and normally it will show some number which CD it is now I cannot uh, let's see 47 yes in this case it's the upper one so I click on OK and as you see these titles are already given here okay alright now what we want to do is get the files from the CD and transport them to WAV files. We don't want to lose any quality, so we export them to WAV. So we click on WAV, then we find ourselves a, a nice place to put them. Well, my RAM disk is big enough, so I put it there. Uh, let's say in a nice little folder called Faro because this CD is called so uh, it's probably not spelled right and you click on OK now this takes a little while depending on the speed of your drive so and what it basically also does it compares this information with the information which is stored at the um, exact audio copy database because 
this album CD has probably uh, been copied uh, several times and when it's finished it will give you a result a final result about the uh, exactness of the uh, copy because if you are an audio file audio file audio file fileist type you know <laughs> what i mean you like uh, you want to uh, re retain the 100% quality then it's very important that uh, the files are copied 100% accurate so we wait uh, a bit so these are what about 12 13 files let's see 13 okay so we wait and we wait and we wait and Pharaoh it was a, a 90s album CD I bought uh, way back in the 90s and it's typical Eurodance music from that era very nice music by the way to my opinion anyway so um, well it's nearly done it's at uh, 80 percent uh, by now it's also copying it to the RAM disk so that makes it speeding up uh, a bit too but if you do this to a hard disk it will pose no problem at all okay now we are nearly finished okay so status and error messages and if it says all tracks accurately ripped then it's okay and don't uh, you can ignore these peak levels because uh, if it says accurately ripped with confidence 64 then it's okay Accurate, accurately ripped oh, that's nice okay now you can close this program you can remove the CD which I will do now put it back into its case okay we have now on the RAM disk here this CD and we got all the WAV files so you can test it for of course uh, like this I won't play it that too long otherwise I get a YouTube strike and I don't want that so we have a bunch of WAV files now but we want FLAC files um, FLAC files are um, basically compressed WAV files but they retain all the quality of the original WAV file you have to compare it with zip files you can zip a file you can pack a file and you can unzip it and it always remains the same quality and the same applies to FLAC so FLAC is a nice way of reducing the file size of the original waves and if you use the best uh, encoding uh, speed then you can reduce it by a factor of well let's say 45 to 50 percent now here comes the program called foobar double click foobar and you get this screen so it seems very empty but we are going to add files and we go to the ram disk we go to faro and we select all these files we click on open and it shows the files here now you right click on this area then you click on convert and just click on quick convert then you get this dialog and if you install the flag codec it will show up here if you did not install the flag codec correctly it won't show up uh, you could also use uh, foobar 2002 uh, encode to mp3 as well or just AAC or any other format what is visible here but we choose flag now um, before clicking on convert click on edit and make sure it sits on smallest file slow encode it's because encoding to flag is not really uh, uh, and uh, 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 CPU 
intensive task and you want the best smallest file size possible so I set it to the smallest file slow encode but you will see that it will go fast okay let's click on convert now it asks you for an output directory uh, this can also be done on the RAM disk and I will call this Faro flak like that okay select the folder and here it goes you see how fast this goes And that's it. That that is all. Now you got on the RAM disk. This is the original. Uh, where let's see where are the uh, let's see details. Where are the details? Mm, I don't see the file size. Well, then we go through this. All right. Here we see the original files. Now we go to the RAM disk here, we go to the flag, and here you see the difference. This file was 41 megabytes and it has been reduced to 29. And the size is different is a bit, but here you can see the difference. Uh, the original WAV files were 563 and they have been compressed to 395. So it's about 40% I guess but the quality is the same so if you click this uh, flag file okay I will not play it too long because of obvious reasons so uh, basically you could use foobar uh, again to turn these flag files back to WAV files and then you could basically use the WAV files to copy it to a CD-ROM and have a exact audio copy and that's the way how you get uh, a flag file I have uh, in my collection in Winamp all these files are all, all flag files and uh, I, some of them I downloaded them and but most of them I made them from my own CDs I uh, have a bunch of album CDs and it's uh, usually um, it's all mostly dance music and other kind of music so and Winamp has no problem with playing flag files you can use the um, media player classic to uh, play uh, flag files and also VLC plays them too so no problem with that so um, well that's the way you uh, you can make flag files so it is not very difficult you just go to um, to this site which called which called mindjoy.tk it's literally translated my trash.tk but it's useful for for uh, for for me anyway download the, the the files needed from here and you can make your own flag files Okay, thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this uh, video and uh, until the next time, to the next tutorial. And if you have any questions regarding the encoding process or you don't know how to do anything uh, or anything uh, does not work uh, to your satisfaction, please ask, ask me in the comment. I will be happy to provide the information needed. Okay, uh, until next time, see you guys, bye bye.